you've been following my channel for the last few weeks, all you see was this, yes, and it's almost completed. Well, as you can see, it's already packed inside the phone. Only thing I've left is to change the wire, and the thing is I need to create a loom to make into USB, and I got an idea, it's just going to take me some time. But, watch this! Ringing! Let me take you through the steps I had to take to get to this point. So the board is inside. It's gonna sit like this. And I'm gonna... This is gonna be the ground. This is gonna be the 5 volt rail. Then later on I'm gonna connect the wire, the original wire that goes out of the phone. This is the loom for the dial and the, the, the handset button. And this loom, then I'm gonna set the ends here, and we got spares, is for the sound. And then this gonna be connected on top. And I'm probably just, for now, gonna hot glue the PCB to the phone, give it some points. And the speaker probably just gonna leave it as a magnet, just for now, so I can close the phone and get it to actually work, and in the enclosure for the first time. So, let's go solder. Next step, this loom also goes from here to here, and it needs new endings. So I soldered ends to all the cables, those as well, and now I just have to put them into place, and then one final test. I jump the power and brilliant. The sim is not inside, so it's not gonna go past the system test. Um, so I'm gonna do the full test later on when I can release the sim from the phone. Finally complete. I got the sim inside. Everything is intact. Only thing I got left is to rewire the original cable, but I need to make a change to its ending to make it in USB. And now let's try that. I'm going to use the other DIY phone to make a phone call for this one. You can hear the other phone in the... Now you can hear this ringing. Perfect. Hello? One important feature that I added to the phone was the ability to access it from outside. And I'm using the library that I've, we've written for the ESP8266 and 32 to be able to have internet access and so on. So I'm using that same library and I'm using the portal part of it that runs as an access point. Now if I dial 9, As you can see, it said I'm activating Wi-Fi portal. Now, if we'll go to the computer, which we'll do in a second, I can show that I can access the phone and change the um, firmware, for example, on the SP32 via the web portal. I set the phone into its access point portal mode and connected to it. I will leave a link in the description to a video I made on this library and its feature. The best feature here is the OTA, which allows me to update the firmware directly from the web page without the need to connect the USB to the ESP inside the phone. I still have a few things to finish, like the power cable, but it's pretty much done. Hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did, and if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and see you next time.